Hello and welcome to Galata Plus. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Natesh Hegde's Pedro, which is currently doing the festival rounds. Now, this is a Kannada film and it is something that you should watch out for if it comes in theatres near you, especially if you love cinema and especially if you think form is content. Now, the film is very deliberately shot and it offers several readings. Now, this is one of my favorite readings or interpretations and it has to do with color. Now, Pedro is set in a lush village in the Western Ghats. So, to the naked eye, the scenery must be absolutely lovely. But because Urge's brilliantly unsure cinematography, here it the luscious this lushness in the sense that you don't see a mountainscape and you don't see nature and you don't see flowers or a sunrise and then do a sharp intake of breath this is more the kind of movie where you see a bunch of men at a local bar which is lit with brilliant neon colors really eye bleeding neon colors so how wonderful that the natural state of this toxic men is being revealed through these colors that are absolutely artificial pedro the movie is full of these wonderfully strange touches but pedro the man is at first at least he is not one of these toxic men he is a mouse when we first meet his daily wager he is sitting on top of a power grid and he He's following the instructions of his supervisor. That is all he's doing. Now, in this scene, it's raining. It rains a lot in this movie and you could read something into this rain as well because some of the crucial scenes have rain in them. For example, the scene in which Pedro assaults a barber for a very, very specific reason. So earlier I called Pedro a mouse and now I'm saying he's assaulting someone. So in a way, you could say that Pedro the movie is about how a mouse becomes a tiger, so to speak. His employer says this man has become a menace not just to us but also to the village now this man he is a very very rich man and he has hired pedro to keep his land free of boars and other kinds of wild animals this is the thing that sets the plot in motion now listen to what the ingredients of this plot are about now there is a stolen ring there is adultery there's revenge there's an impotent brother there's a woman with a little boy who lives with pedro there is this wonderfully long drawn out scene where pedro bathes this little boy and the filmmaking is so thorough and Pedro's bathing of this little boy is so thorough that you feel the love between them the relationship between them so thoroughly all of these could have led to a family drama family psychodrama or all of these could have led to a series of easy points about class differences or caste differences now there's certainly a bit of all of that there but what matters is how Natesh and his cinematographer navigate the story or rather make a navigate the story now when an animal is shot dead we see its hooves and we think i think maybe it's a boar or in that scene where pedro assaults the barber we don't see the barber at all because after he falls the camera stays up there it doesn't go towards the barber and we think maybe the man is dying or maybe he's just wounded pedro is full of these maybes this carefully calibrated distance is what makes pedro so different and so brilliant now could the same story have been told in half the number of shots Sure, but then Pedro would have been a very different movie and we would not have been led so gently into the last few scenes which carry a huge, huge, huge impact. One of the last few scenes has one of the most exquisite pan shots that I've ever seen in the movies and it gives us a sense of doom that almost makes us think that we have walked into a suspense drama. So many stretches in this film stand out. For example, a conversation between two men in a car that is shot through foggy windows because the conversation itself is very murky. Or take the center framing of Pedro, whether he's at the back of a car or in the middle of two people on a bike. The camera moves along with him or with him so that he always seems stationary even when he's in motion. Perhaps this is an indication that nothing's ever going to change for him despite the fact that the people around him and the things around him keep changing. In other words, Pedro and his kind are always going to be controlled by more powerful people. Now that animal, that board that we thought that Pedro shot, it turns out it is not that animal, it is something else and it ends up turning the whole village against Pedro and it makes him an outcast. There are some stinging dialogues, for example, after this whole outcast thing happens, Pedro tells people that you guys only need me when there's work to be done, otherwise you don't 
don't give a shit about me but an equal amount of information is conveyed without dialogue through only the sounds of nature and by Gopal Hegde the director's father who plays Pedro with a whole lot of awkwardness because this is a man who does not belong in his village in his family he does not even belong to himself in a sense Pedro is a very impressive debut and its most impressive feature is that it shows us just how much can be shown purely through visuals purely as cinema the film begins and ends with events around an electric grid and in that tells us that power equations seldom change so that's it about natesh hegde's pedro if you like this video do subscribe to galata plus and see you soon at the movies